Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at permaculturenews.org, and they have one of the best articles I've ever seen explaining the different layers of a permaculture food forest. Now, the first layer is the top layer. We're going to start at the top, the canopy layer. These are going to be your tallest trees. Maybe they're oaks dropping acorns for the wildlife to forage and the cows to forage and whatnot. Maybe they're fruit trees that you use a ladder to harvest from. Maybe they're a locust tree that drops their beans and also fixes nitrogen from the atmosphere and puts it in the soil. This is key in permacultures. You're going to have a lot of legumous plants, plants that are legumes in the legume family that work with a bacteria in the soil to just take nitrogen from the atmosphere, which is about 70% of our atmosphere, by the way, put it in the soil where it's uptaken by the roots of all the plants. And that's the number one nutrient that plants really need for uh, above ground leafy growth as they say now the sub canopy layer you're going to have your understory trees uh, pawpaws love it but all sorts of fruit trees are going to be grown here if you're lucky enough to live in a tropical environment or subtropical you can do some uh, coffee or olives and make some decent money off of that now uh, again fruit and nut trees mostly in the sub canopy layer shrub layer you're gonna have a lot of berries in there blueberries raspberries kind of grow in a shrub in the shrub layer and then you have the herbaceous layer for your herbs your seasonings those can be also very profitable uh, the thymes the rosemaries uh, warm wood some things that can also be used medicinally also in this layer i would put flowers that could attract pollinators that maybe you could also use medicinally like uh, chamomile or echinacea both flowers that can attract pollinators you can use them medicinally and i imagine you could probably sell them uh, as cut flowers to uh, florists as well now the ground cover layer this can be a couple of different things you can have a, a nitrogen fixing plant like clover you can have other sorts of nitrogen fixing plants that you can just cut off year after year and use as a mulch you can i think uh, hairy vetch is one of them if i'm not mistaken you can have all sorts of uh, different plants that have really deep roots that break up the underground layer which is the next layer uh, you can also have strawberries or mint that in a ground cover that produces food again that food could be for you or for the foraging uh, ducks or turkeys or chickens or maybe you have management intensive grazing in some spots of uh, grass and field around there it all depends on how much sunlight you want to reach to the uh, ground cover layer underground layer this is going to be the roots of the plants and is somewhat the fungi as well but they have it as a bonus layer below here so you're going to want to have plants that have some deep roots and some shallow roots so you use the entire soil base up and down the uh, 10 to really 50 feet of soil if you have some really tall trees vertical climber layer you know those are vines some food producing vines are of course grapes and you can have train them to grow all sorts of ways on uh, understory trees or go all the way up to the canopy the aquatic layer water really really important more important than nitrogen probably you know without water no plants would survive and uh, you need to design the swales or the key line the way the the garden flows and the way it's designed should work with the way water moves across the land across hillsides and in valleys and ditches you put the water loving plants you, on the south facing hillside you put the sun loving plants that like a fast draining soil north facing hillside more shade plants you know it's a well if that's northern hemisphere southern hemisphere it's flipped all right so aquatic layer is uh, also a place where you can get uh, duckweed that can be used for both human food or animal feed or you can have all sorts of plants that could be used as mulches and mulches will help rebuild the soil from the top down as it breaks down and then fungal layer this can also be a source of revenue if you're looking for it uh, wine cap mushrooms are pretty reliable and uh, they love wood chips and hay and all sorts of stuff but uh, you can do what are called landscape morel mushrooms morel mushrooms are of course one of the most expensive hardest to find landscapes don't require the uh, spring thaw i think it's like 58 degrees fahrenheit soil temperature they can come up in almost any time of the year and they love wood chips but they're not very reliable uh, you give them a good soaking rain for 24 hours and they might pop up on you there that's what they love but there's all sorts of different mushrooms and fungi that can produce edible mushrooms or at least break down wood chips if you got a lot of wood chips you need the fungus to break them down into really nice healthy soil 
All right, you know, there's a lot more detail in this article. This is one of my longer videos. But of course, if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. The link will be in the description. Have a great day.